This place is so cool. This was so much fun. I got him good. Eviscerated him. Whoa, this is gonna be good. There's a lot more meat on the frog than I thought. I like time flies. We want a top water blow up. It's like one of those drawings that you see from your kids. There she goes. Bye. No, no, no. Oh, ah, I got one. All right, so I'm tired of having these adventures alone. So we're getting a dog. I'm Zachary Fowler, and this is the seven day island survival challenge. For the next seven days, this island's all mine to build, to create. I hope this works. To have adventure on. Yeehaw. <laughs> and to catch and cook as many unique things no as I can come up with. Smoke well, eel sushi in the outdoors. Good morning. Right at the top of my head. Day seven, final day. Let's get out there. Last night, I did something pretty cool. And now, I got a delicious frog for breakfast. Got him. I got him good. Ugh, completely eviscerated him. Whew, one frog. So, I'm gonna enjoy my last day and uh, won't you uh, join me as we step out into this wonderful world of adventure? <laughs> I don't want to get out of bed. Ah, it's so it's, it's been so hard to get out of bed every day here. It's like I'm so cozy in the morning and at night it's so miserable falling asleep in this hammock. It's not the hammock's fault. It's just just muggy and warm enough that it's like I, I just feel uncom uncomfortably like clammy or whatever. So in the mornings I'm like now it's cool enough and my body temperature is cooled enough that I'm like Mmm, I don't want to get out of bed. <sighs> but there's adventure to be had, and you can't have it if you stay in bed. Oh, I just fell out of bed. <laughs> Looks good. Bench looks good. Everything looks good. Table's clean, not too messy. All right, so let's get that fire going and make ourselves a little froggy breakfast. Like I said before, that's been on my bucket list kind of for a while to do this frog as a, a whole frog cook because I saw Somebody uh, in left in the comments once before when I did legs and they were like Why'd you waste the rest of the frog? So I'm gonna see if that's true <sighs> Pretty hungry after yesterday's cooking fiasco first time I don't know that I've ever cooked something and it turned out bad I think I remember not enjoying the second possum on the 30 Day Survival Challenge Texas. All right, so there's a fibery muscle right there, and as you peel it back, fat. Go! 
Come here, grandson. Come to, come to grandpa. You're so big. When did you get so big? You know, I, I got an old backpack that I think will fit you just right. I'm ready, grandpa. Put the backpack on me, let's do this. I was gonna give this to your mom, Sparrow, but she went to do 30 day survival challenge on the moon, so she needed a different backpack. This backpack was with me on my first 30 day survival oh, challenge. Oh, that's really nice. And now, it can go with you. What do you think about that? That backpack's older than you are, Grandpa. Wow, Grandpa, am I as high up as your bear safe hammocking in the Rockies? Come to Grandpa. Are you ready? Bye, Grandpa. See you in 30 days. I got this. This is easy. 30 days, here I come. Special thanks to our sponsor, Hidden Woodsman's Old World Gear Company. They make a backpack and gear that will last a lifetime, and your children's lifetime, and your children's children's lifetime. Because when I go on an adventure, I need something that will survive as long as I can. So if you're interested in good gear that will out-survive the rigors of whatever you get up to, check out our sponsor, linked in the description below, Hidden Woodsman's Old World Gear Company, and get yourself a piece of gear that you'll be able to rely on for a lifetime and your children's lifetime, and your children's children's. If you're just tuning in, you're like, what the heck is going on here? You're on day seven. Make sure you check out that link in the description below. Go back to the beginning of the series by the playlist down there, and you can watch all the episodes. As well as the gear video, if you've been wondering what gear I've been using, it's linked right there at the top of the description.
Oh man, I melted the top of my perk pot. I missed my old glass lid that I had for this. Glass never would have done that. This is gonna be good. I'm excited for this. It looked like it turned out really good. There's a lot more meat on the upper part of the frog than I thought. And after using, making my spicy mayo for the um, uh, sushi the other day, I, I think this was gonna be really good. A little piece of frog. <laughs> bit of rice, a little bit of pepper. Mmm. I've had frog before. I know it tastes good. That is really good. Mmm. 
I wonder if I could just eat one of its feet, like bones and all, like does it crunch up like a, a fried peanut? Nope. You don't want to eat the bones. Just the meat. Mmm. That's good. I think I blanched it just a second too long. Because the skin came right off, but it also came off in pieces. And if I had uh, just put it in the boiling water for like a second less, I noticed when it was in the water, I was like flicking at it. So there's a lesson for you. If you do frog legs or a frog, you don't have to put it in their water for very long. Just literally drop it in the boiling water, count to 10, flip it over, count to 10, done. I did like a whole minute. I basically cooked it. So now that it's on the plate, it's falling all apart. Kind of a finger food. I don't think I'm going to try and eat the head. Maybe I'll try to eat the head. Oh. That's weird. I think I just ate its tongue. That's kind of weird. I just tasted the frog tasting me. That's... It's food. Get over the weirdness of it. So far, it's mostly just bones up forward, but there's the teeniest bit of meat if you eat the tongue. And on the forearms. Is it worth eating the whole frog? I'd say in a true survival situation, yeah. You cook the whole frog, you eat every little piece of it. Don't wrestle with it. You throw the rest back into your ever stew. You know, if I was out doing a 30A, I wouldn't throw any of these little bones and things in the fire. They'd all go into the ever stew and have a nice rich broth for days. A little bit of backstrap. And these aren't even nearly as big as the people that I've seen pictures of people getting them down south. I'm not even bothering with the rice and stuff. That leg, the rear leg, upper part of the... Mm. Yeah, there's quite a bit of meat actually on the back. Oh my goodness. I didn't know this, but apparently frogs have a wishbone. Look at that. I'll save that and bring that back to the office. See if one of the guys wants to play wishbone with me. What's the story, wishbone? What's this you're dreaming of? Oh, the last little foot. That's it. Not much there. Ugh. Oh. For, there wasn't much there, but that was really, really good. That's like way better than chicken. That was a good last meal out here. I think I'm gonna um, pack up my stuff. I'm gonna tie a fly clean up my mess, make sure there's nothing left here, and I fire is good and out. Go home, by then it'll be pretty late, and uh, I'll have a entry back into society meal, and we'll talk about uh, what I learned, what I could have done better, and, um, and what I think I'll do different next time. I actually learned a lot this time, more than anything else I've done in recent, uh, maybe in the last three years on this adventure. So, I think that's pretty cool. We'll talk about that later. All right, got my little bean rod. I actually haven't even used this one. I bought it after coming back from the Rockies. I had such a good time fly fishing up there. Yes, got one. Nice. As you can hear, I'm not the only person having fun out in the lake today. And uh, never, never used this one. This one's got a a sinking leader, and a sinking line, and a floating line. And it's a longer rod meant for the lakes as the one I took the Rockies as the ultralight stream two or something. 
I thought I'd bring that one out and finally try to make a lure and catch something on the lake. I always have this dream of like, oh, I'm gonna fly fish all the time, you know, once a week all summer, and then the summers come and I get so busy, and, and I love my bass fishing. It's just so much fun. So, I think I wanna tie a frog. Brought some rubbery stuff for frog legs. I like tying flies. And back in the day, when I was in high school, I, all I did is tie flies and fly fish, but uh, fly fish minimally. Like I, I spent all of my time tying all these flies and then uh, the rest of my time, you know, just not not even fishing them. Just, just enjoyed tying them more than I did. I always have been that way. I like making stuff. That's why I don't like hiking. Like hiking is just such a miserable thing. I don't know why anybody would want to do it. Uh, it's, it's like spend all day uh, just looking at the scenery and stuff and getting sweaty and hiking when you could be like at a camp building something or at a lake swimming or fishing. No good. No lead, we're going with top water, top water. We want a top water blow up. Let's see if this even clamps to my area here. Oh yeah, this will work fine. <laughs> yeah, it's a little more secure. All right, let's try it out. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if I even remember how to do this. It looks more like a, a bumblebee with legs. It could work. It kind of looks like some froggy legs sticking out behind it. I'll call you Bumble Frog. We'll see. All right, that's gonna have to do. That took forever and I did a poorly job. I don't really care to try it and repeat that until I look up some uh, how-to again and maybe try it. I also have some that I tied from back in the day, a nice uh, grasshopper one. So that uh, came out a lot better looking than that, made out of actual stuff that I dyed and taken care of and made myself. So if this one gets broke off or something happens to it or it just blows apart in the first time I get hit by a fish, I will uh, try the grasshopper. Well, let's pack it up, head up the river, see if we can't catch a fish with the bumble frog. It's like one of those drawings that you see from your kids and you're like, oh, that's so nice. Good job, honey. It's, it's a great looking um, 
Honey, what is it? Does somebody know what this is? Help me, somebody help me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> or you make the guess. Oh my goodness. I do that all the time. I'm like, oh, that's a great cloud. It's a great dog. Dad, that's not a dog, that's a teacup. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. I, is it a dog on the side of the teacup? And No, no. Oh. Okay. That feels lighter. This must be the lead cord one. You know what, there's some water right here. All right, that, yeah, I was right, the green one. That one really sinks. Very scientific. Fire is out safely. Looks like I've got all of my stuff. A couple little veggie scraps. No trash though. I'm reminded of the story of uh, one of the parables in the Bible about a man once he finds a pearl that was so precious, he goes and he sells everything so that he can buy that pearl sells all of his land. I feel like if I had some pearls, I would go sell all my pearls and buy an island because this place is so cool. This was so much fun. Hopefully uh, I can come back and visit the place again and um, maybe come out during ice fishing time, landowner's permission, uh, if they're happy with the little structures and stuff and uh, go ice fishing in winter camp or something like that. Well. Time to head up the river and see if I can't catch something on my bumble frog. Whew, I need some more water. This day is hot. I almost went for a swim before I took off, but I was like, I'm just gonna get so sweaty from the time I go for a swim. Should have gone for a swim now, then jumped in the boat. I still want to catch that big bass though. I know he's in the river up there. All right, goodbye. Little island retreat, so long. Until next time, well, hopefully there's a next time. Here we go. It got really gross, but uh, I didn't see any maggots falling off of it and doing its thing. There was no fish over here when I came over here, so I don't know. Didn't work. I'm gonna take it somewhere and sink it. Ugh, gross. Look at what happens when I dip it in the water. Ugh, it stinks something bad. Ugh. There she goes. Goodbye. I am going to miss that place.
What a beautiful water to have to, to swim in. To have, I almost said to have to swim in. <laughs> well, if you live here, you have to swim in it, right? You, unless you don't know how to swim. I honestly don't know if I would sell all of my land and my house. I'd sell my land in a heartbeat and buy a place on a lake like this. But would I sell my house? and buy a house, a smaller house. It probably have to be a smaller house because there's no even swap, you know? Unless I really do a nice job to that house and, and uh, somebody really wants it. Is it worth more now that I have a million subscribers? The house of a uh, YouTuber? Like, I don't consider myself to be anything famous. There it is, last look at the island through the little notch there. Goodbye, goodbye. My neighbor. This is just so cool, this little bridge spot here. Like somebody built something and Used to have like a little bridge right here. And I guess they all, like once it rotted, they didn't want it back so that, I wonder if whoever owned that over there and owned the same over there. Well, I suppose we should rig up and try, try our uh, bumble frog out. Right. Reel, leader, four piece rod. You know, while I put this together, it occurs to me that unlike Waterworld, I tried to do too much almost. You know, I'm trying to build stuff, cook stuff, and do survival-y bits, and film, and fish. It's like, for seven days, that's, that's hard to... My goal was basically to, to every day I would um, cook and, uh, build something new. And so to build, cook, and fish every single day to inc increase everything that I'm doing by a certain degree is like, that's a bit, it was, it was a bit much. Um, it was fun. I had to really push myself. That's where coming into something like this with somebody else gives you well, more fun sometimes and more leeway to be able to do uh, more. I could have, if I had done this with somebody else, they could have gone out fishing one of the days and uh, we could have fished less time because they, they helped and they were catching things. Oh, that's pretty strong. All right, it's still meant to have some like later tip it on it but we're tying it right to the tapered leader just a regular old fisherman's knot all the fly fishermen are like rolling over in their grave like what are you doing all right that's pretty good that's an eight pound Test at the back end. If I get a big guy, I just gotta be uber careful in the wrestle in it. And we float it all the way back down to the thing. Perfect. Leader's just short enough it doesn't get stuck in the, nice. It doesn't get stuck up in the, uh, up in the eye at the end. You gotta like shake it out. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. The neighborhood. Won't you be? Oh, it's heavy. Different feel. Oh, it's 
Let's head further, head further up. Let's see if that big guy is happy with the action. Up at the beaver dam or beaver lodge. Kind of a neat thing about the fly rod is I can cast out over the lily pads. I don't have to reel back through them and get hooked. I can get it back up into the air again and work my way back and then flip it up, cast it back out. Let's try it. This is the spot. This is where the big guy is. <laughs> Not even a hook set. Oh, there's a big guy right there. Oh, wouldn't even turn his head at it. Maybe up over the dam. There we go. Ah, I got one. I got one. Ah, come here. Come here, little fella. He's trying to get back towards those sticks. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Oh. Don't lose him, don't lose him. All right. Oh, no wonder he's fighting so much. Smalley. And boat flip. Hey, here we go. <laughs> oh, it took me three hours. I'm nothing if not persistent. Choked it. Look at you. I got you. I got you. Woo. Let me see. Let's put you back. I didn't get skunked. That'll do. I didn't get skunked. I didn't get skunked. I can go home now. <laughs> what you got there? A homemade raft? That's great. I love rafts. That's one of my favorite lures. That same one too. Yeah, that one's so much fun. It sounds so good. You can do a bait caster? I stink at it. Does it tangle on you? Really? You're gonna have to teach me how to do it then. What do you run for line? Fluorocarbon? Yeah. 
Oh. I got a 10 plus this morning. Yes. You're killing me. I've been catching nothing but little things. Everybody smile. What's your favorite video? Uh, probably the Dollar General Survival Challenge. Yeah, the we Dollar did. General we Survival. Tried it for fishing. Oh yeah. It's hard. It is. They watch you all the time. I do too. Oh yeah. Is it okay if I take a picture? Oh sure. I made that while I was out there. Oh. When I finally made it over the dam up here, I caught a smallie. Oh. A little one, tiny one. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Picture if you want to. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Now we can play tag, dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You inspired me to make my own YouTube channel. good lord thank you for this food bless this food to my body and thank you for keeping me safe on the adventure bringing me home safe in jesus name amen all right first meal back all clean and at home mm. so good to be home that was such a good time uh it was a little hard actually trying to add this whole island exploring foraging building and still cooking and things and get a lot done in seven days it's a lot of work to go to a new body of water and figure things out and then to survive on top of that so i didn't focus on that nearly as much and i just focused on having fun and just getting some food to catch and cook um other thing i focused on was always trying to learn new things so to learn the new things I went and I uh, when I when I did this challenge instead of just doing what I knew would catch me the most fish I actually spent more of my time experimenting with new things and new lures so that I could better understand the relationship between fishing and the lures and catching the fish and the times of day to fish and things like that so I'm I made it a little harder on myself so I didn't do as well on the fishuation as I could have done which gave me a greater basis of knowledge so when it comes to an actual tougher competition I'd be ready for it in the end I decided that instead of belaboring the trying to catch the big fish and be a big tough guy you know and how he's having the biggest fish I just went with catching fish that I could do some good cooks with and then I had, I had a fun time it was really neat to be able to build something different like the bench and the table with a, a sink in it. And I think it would have been really nice if it was a little bit longer or if I did it with somebody else. That would have made it so the building wasn't as much work and that I could spend more time on the focusing on the fishing and adventuring out in the lake. So all in all, I'm really satisfied. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. And uh, leave it in the comments below. What do you think? we should do next this has been an island summer we've had a lot of fun with it i think maybe next year i'd love to do an ocean island or uh the tote float but in the ocean get our adventures further bigger and a little bit wilder every year as we go along we'll see what the owners think once they get back and get a chance to look at all the stuff i built out there if they appreciate what i did or if they never want to see me again never want to rent it to me again <laughs> I did ask permission. Make sure you ask permission and know the laws before you go out and start messing around with things in the outdoors, especially if you're trying to push your boundaries and be creative, you know. Uh, and when you cut down trees, be smart about it. You know, know, do some reading, learn about canopy and protecting and uh, sustainable forestry a little bit. It's not that hard. There's a couple little articles out on there, but basically when I cut stuff down, I pick the healthy tree and then when there's suckers around them, I'll cut those out from underneath their canopies so that I have a chance to grow up. And the little suckers, they weren't going to go very far anyways most of the time. So, it all works out for the best for all of us. I get to build something. The bigger trees you get to go bigger. Maybe somebody, someday that maple that I cut some of those suckers around, we'll get to maple sugar that maple. 
Oh, I'm gonna finish my meal. The girls should be here soon. And then, we're gonna go pick out, or go pick up our new puppy. I'm tired of having these adventures all alone. I've only had one adventure alone. Right? Man. Hey, honey. Oh my goodness. You're so tan. <laughs> I know. Two weeks at the beach without me? Oh, I missed you. <laughs> Are you taller too? No. It's only been two weeks. You got taller. No, oh, you got just... heels on. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> Alright, so I'm tired of having these adventures alone. So, we're getting a dog. Not all these dogs, that's too many. Okay, so this is, this is the dad. Where's Ollie, the, right here. Ollie's the dad. Yep. Okay. And this is the mom, right here, Alice. Aww. Yeah. Alice. Alice. Hey. What are your names? Mila and Abby. So if he comes he's not towards really, you. He's not really scratching me. Yeah, he doesn't mean to, but I'm just saying, <laughs> this is good. Like, see the way she jumps? Just kind of give her your knee. And this is my husband, John. Hello. Oh, what a beautiful. Nice spot, huh? Right before you got here, they were eating a, a bee, and I was like, oh great, she's gonna like blow up with her face. This is your puppy right here. <gasps> this is our puppy, yeah. Claire. Claire! Oh my goodness, yeah. you're so tiny! <laughs> oh, but she's full of fun she's already. So tiny. So this is her. I like the biggest ones are the curious ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna show you a little trick to how to hold her. You put your fingers right up there. Right kind of, yeah, kind of push them in. You know, so you have a good grip. Yeah. You're good at holding it. <laughs> yep. You. Good. Get down. She's got it down. So I'm gonna show you another thing. Look with him. Like how, oh, he's, you know, plenty of active and going on adventures with you. He'd be up for anything. She's so this is so like sweet. the smallest dog like, ever. Look at how small she is. Yes. She's the so smallest thing. Hi, Claire. Put your hand right there. You feel that? And then your thumb like that. There Great. you go. She's calmer than a pigeon. She's calmer <laughs> than a pigeon. I have a question. Yes. Can you, can you name them a different name after them? Definitely. Oh, yeah. That's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing, because we are now at a million thanks to you. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Fowler out. I've always dreamt of being a YouTube star. This is my moment. My moment to shine. Ribbit. Ribbit.